Sometimes in the amber, which is tree sap, hardened, petrified, sometimes they find air bubbles. The air bubbles, when they suck them out and analyze them, are 50% more oxygen than we have today. The air we're breathing now is 21% oxygen. <sighs> what if it was 35%? If the atmosphere originally was 35% oxygen and double the air pressure, just breathing would be exciting. Dr. Kimori in Japan started raising tomato plants with filtered sunlight. He used a, a mirror system to collect sunlight and send it through fiber optic cable to his plants. So the plants would not be getting ultraviolet light or x-rays, only sunlight, pure light, okay? His tomato plant grew 16 feet tall and produced 900 tomatoes. This is one, one plant. They moved it to a shopping center, built scaffolding to hold up the branches. They said this thing might produce 10,000 tomatoes. It ended up growing over 40 feet tall and produced 15,000 tomatoes off one plant. They were cherry tomatoes, but his were coming off baseball size. I think maybe the whole earth was that way. I think it had not only a canopy to filter out the radiation, it had increased air pressure, richer CO2, pure gene code, better soil, and the birds chirping is what opens up the leaf cells so they can breathe in the morning. One guy got curious, why did the birds start chirping an hour before sunrise? Well, they've discovered that frequency of the chirp, chirp, chirp opens up the stomata under the leaf.